What's up everyone? This week we're just gonna go on a cruise in the EF, uh, but first I'm gonna install something quick. So I just bought this off eBay. It's a speedometer, like GPS speedometer thing. And I wanna put it in my car because I wanna get that EE9 cluster that my buddy Tani sent me in there. And you know, obviously it's gonna be kilometers. The cluster is gonna be kilometers and I don't know kilometers. And every other one of my cars have a different um, offset on the speedometer like this one reads five miles an hour fast my truck reads like five or ten slow like so it's just hard to keep track of each car when i'm driving in between cars so i want to get that in just so i know i'm not speeding or whatever but yeah i'm gonna put that in and we'll just find out if it works on the way if not oh well because there is barely enough gas in the car to get to a gas station because there is no gas station where i live so hopefully we have enough to get there Push this thing up a little bit so it's easier to work on. Lightweight. Basically all you get with it, you got the power cord, the mount, the screen, and I guess this is like an extra sticky thing for the suction cup. You gotta provide your own one of these things. And then I guess there's instructions and an extra sticky thing. I don't even know what that goes for, but I'm gonna plug it in to see if it actually powers up. All right, power check. Oh, that's fancy. Yeah, I guess I'll just mount it up somewhere and then we'll see if it works. I'm gonna go get gas. I guess I'll show you this quick too. Um, if you press down on the the little button thing right here, it's like a um, it's like a spool. I don't even know what you want to call it, but push down on it and it'll change the face, like time or whatever. I don't even know what that is. I believe that's time um, mile per hour, and then you can have a I think that's a compass up there, so you can. Have it blank, have the compass, mile per hour, or compass and mile per hour. So I'm going to leave it like that. That's kind of neat. All right, so this is the ghetto setup for now. I just have it mounted over here. Eventually, I'm probably am going to mount it like here or something, but I just want to see if it works, and then I'll some other time mount it where I want it. Anyways, let's test it out. <laughs> suction cup already fell off and I don't want to use a sticky thing because it'll do that that little ring right there from my old phone holder so I might just jam it in here for now I don't know it's kind of irritating oh that'd be a good spot for it but eventually all right this is really ghetto but I got the bracket on the other side so it won't fly out but I think it's just because it's cold out right now the suction cup's a little stiff but anyways it'll work just to test it Good news is, we barely made it to the gas station. Bad news is, that reads five miles an hour faster than at least the uh, GPS on my phone, the GPS uh, speedometer. So if you know a reasonable, like an accurate one, let me know in the comments below, because I definitely want to find one that's legit.
just didn't want someone riding my bumper. So, I don't know. I can't stand people. No, I'm just trying to back off so I have room to go the speed limit. take video or pictures quick and cinematics and then we'll start heading down again. like this one and that one for big stuff and yeah well now I gotta reprint those recut
All right, guys, made it back to the garage. So sorry, it's another kind of boring video. I guess everyone likes the little cruise videos here and there, but um, yeah, this week I was supposed to get a lot of work done in the shop. I actually had to strip that car because I got someone to pick up the swap and whatever, and my truck broke down. So, or well, carburetor took a crap on me again. Uh, 10 out of 10, don't recommend Holly Quadra Jets or Quadra Jets in general. So long story short, I worked on that for like two days just to get it running and then um, I found a guy in town that's going to trade me a Edelbrock for my quadra jet and hopefully get it running. So, but yeah, that took two days out of, uh, took my days off <laughs> trying to get that truck running. So set me behind and once again, have no time to make a decent video, but I apologize. And next week I'm going to be busy stripping cars. So hopefully find something at least decent to do. Hopefully nothing else comes up so I can get work done because I am extremely behind. And I don't have friends to help me with anything here. So <laughs> anyways, but if you like the video, I appreciate a like. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all the nonsense I do. And follow my Instagram, Kanjo underscore brothers. If you want to see more on there, more pictures, more content. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. Oh, and before I forget, a lot of people ask me about my steering wheel and where I got it from. Um, I actually won it from More Motorsports Garage. So they're another YouTube channel. Check out their Instagram and all that. Uh, cool dudes. Do a lot of cool Honda stuff. But... Um, the company that makes the wheel is Bull Boost Performance, so I'm not sponsored by them, but they have a bunch of sick products like that and a bunch of like engine upgrades, turbo kits, and all sorts of stuff like that, so go check them out as well. And if you're interested in anything that is on my car, if you go on my Instagram, I usually tag all the products under like a, a reel or picture or whatever, so like my shifter is K-tuned, Megan Racing Coilover is PCI, uh, spherical bushing, like all that stuff, I have all the like products that are on my vehicle tagged below. So if you're interested in what I'm running, it's all in there. Just look at one of my Instagram posts.